In this video, we're going to talk about how to prove if a quadrilateral is an isosceles trapezoid. So the first thing you can prove is that the legs of the trapezoid are congruent. If that's the case, it's an isosceles trapezoid. Or you could prove that the lower base angles are congruent. Or if you could show that the upper base angles are congruent, then it's an isosceles trapezoid. And finally, if you could show that the diagonals are congruent to each other, then it's also an isosceles trapezoid. So let's work out an example problem. So let's call this A, B, C, D, and E. And so here's the information that you're given. You're given that angle BAC is congruent to angle CDE. And also, you're told that BE is congruent to segment CE. So your goal is to prove that ABCD is an isosceles trapezoid. So let's work on this example. So let's do a two column proof. So let's start with the given information. So the first thing that we can say is that angle BAC is congruent to angle CDE. And this is given. And so let's mark it. So here's BAC. And this is angle CDE. So this angle is congruent to that angle. Now, number two, we could say that angle AEB is congruent to angle C, actually, angle DEC. Now, notice that these two angles, they're vertical angles. So this is AEB and this is DEC. And as we know, vertical angles are congruent. So now let's move on to step three. So let's focus on our second given statement, and that is that BE is congruent to CE. So this is BE and this is CE. And so this is given. So at this point, we could show that these two triangles are congruent. So we can make the statement that triangle AEB is congruent to triangle DEC. And this is based on the angle, angle, side postulate. And we've used statements 1, 2, and 3 to arrive at that answer. So we can now say that AB is congruent to CD. And this is based on CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So now that we've shown that the opposite sides of a trapezoid are congruent, then we know it's an isosceles trapezoid. So we can make the final statement that ABCD is in fact an isosceles trapezoid. And the reason for this, we could say definition 
of an isosceles trapezoid. So if the opposite sides are congruent, then the quadrilateral is a trapezoid. And so that's it for this example. So that's a simple way on how you can prove if a quadrilateral is indeed an isosceles trapezoid. Let's consider another example. So we're going to use the same letters, A, B, C, D, and E. Now in this problem, we're given the following information. So angle D, C, A is congruent to angle A, B, D. And also angle CAD is congruent to angle BDA. So with this information, let's prove that ABCD is an isosceles trapezoid. So let's make a mental outline of what we need to do. So notice that DCA is equal to angle ABD. So let's focus on those two triangles. So this is triangle ABD, and this is triangle ACD. So we know that DCA which is this angle, is congruent to ABD. And also CAD, which is this angle, is congruent to BDA. And notice that both triangles share the same side, AD. So we can prove that these two triangles are congruent based on the angle-angle side postulate. And then once we've proven uh, that those two are congruent, then we could say that AC, this diagonal, is congruent to BD. So we could show that BD and AC are congruent. So if we could show that these two diagonals are congruent, then that means that we do have an isosceles trapezoid. So that's what we need to do in this problem. So let's make a two column proof. So let's start with the first statement. Angle DCA is congruent to angle ABD. And so that statement was given to us. Now let's mark it on the graph. So this is DCA. So this angle is congruent to ABD, which is that angle. Now, number two, angle CAD is congruent to angle BDA. And so that's also given. So this is CAD and BDA. Next, let's show that AD is congruent to AD. So that's the common side of both triangles, and this is based on the reflexive property. So now we could say that the two triangles are congruent. So triangle CAD, which is this triangle here, that's congruent to the other one, triangle BDA, which is this triangle. And as mentioned before, we can prove it based on the angle-angle side postulate using statements 1, 2, and 3. Now number 5. So we can show that the diagonals are congruent. So AC has to be congruent to BD based on 
CPCTC. So this diagonal is congruent to that diagonal. Once you show that the two diagonals are congruent, now you can make the final statement that ABCD is an isosceles trapezoid. And so the reason that we can put down definition of an isosceles trapezoid.